Hey, what's going on, guys? We gotta do some digging today. Nice field. Nice day. Walking around, bottle caps, pull tabs, same same stuff. Look at that. Looks like a coin, but I've never seen a coin that brittle. Look, it does got something on it, but she's really toasty. Dries a little better. I find anything else, so I'll uh, put you back on. Just got a nice mid tone here. Let me pop the plug. Probably shotgun shells. All I've been digging. The old ones too, the paper ones. Oh. Uh, coin a button. Oh, that's a big button. Is it a button? Yeah. Yeah, broken shank. Yeah, maybe they'll start hitting some stuff. Nice. Hey guys, back at ya. This little hillside I'm on. I mean, I ain't moved but 10 feet. And I got a nickel, a nickel signal. And I already popped it out. Right there. Yeah. Mm, you go, you little bugger. Right there. Hey, nickel, why'd that ring up so low? Let me clean it up, guys. I'll get back with you. Hey, back with you guys. That's why it rang up so awful low. We just dug a half sign. Turn it so you can see it. 1804. Let it dry out. Yeah, it's a good note. Good shot. Yeah, supposed to go out in Norman Mike today, and uh, I had to work earlier. I figured I was going to have time to dig. But that big flat button, 1804 half cent, and uh, a bunch of shotgun shells, memorials, and the garbage to boot, it was worth it. Let me try a little more here. Find something else, I'll get back with you guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? Same field, different target, and we just popped a little. Flat button. No shank. Let me 
shine right up. It's paying off. I mean, I haven't gone very far. I got that 1804 half cent, which cleaned up awesome. I mean, I'll let you see. Lighting just right here for you. Not too shabby. It's only the second one I found in decent shape. The rest of them have been smoked. Yeah, it's great. Great, nice spot too. I mean, just bugs are outrageous. So holy smokes, getting bad. Tell the weather's changing. Grass is growing. More ticks than you can count now. But, yeah, did I find anything else? I'll uh, turn it back on. So what's going on, guys? Same hill. I mean, this thing's just turning out all kinds of stuff. It's popping on the little flat button. No shank. She's my luck these days. Yeah, we'll take it out of the ground. One more in the collection. I mean... That Viper coil outdoes any of Garrett's little coils. I mean, I found so much stuff with this. I've only got it on my Pro. I mean, I put it on my Max. It's just it's an awesome little coil. And it picks out all the rubbish. I mean, I suggest, you know, get rid of that little 5-inch coil. Get this one, 6x11, and it's just, it's awesome. Hey guys, what's going on? Same hunt, same day. Just uh, walking up the hill, still on that hill where I found that 1804 half cent, and then buttons. I got a decent signal right here. Let's uh, find it again. Uh, let's see what we can do. Why do you guys make this look so gosh darn easy? See where it went. What we got? In a plug. I think that deep though, so probably junk. Well, there we go, guys. Another coin. That's a nice one. What a day. I was bummed too because I lost the morning of hunting with Norman Mike. I'm going to dry out and see what it is. We got a frame there. Damn good day. Three coins, three buttons. Been here about an hour and a half. Oh, it didn't dry up. I'm going to show you guys. And me, Norman, Mike hammered the heck out of this place. 
I mean, I'm just sitting here a little bit of patience, picking through all this iron, that Viper 6x11, and, and I'm not giving Garrett uh, kudos, but heck of a coil. And a lot of it up here is four or five inches. I mean, this is fairly... I'll uh, say three inches, maybe three and a half inches. Well, she drained out nice. I don't like to rub them right away. I mean, you, a lot of people do. They'll rub them on their pants and I like to give them a, just a little rub. And every now and again, let it dry. Sometimes you take the detail off them. I mean, you got a 200 plus year old coin. Not too shabby, not too shabby. One center, one largey, one largey. But, uh, yeah, will it dry and you know, I'll uh, See if we can get a date. Uh, I see a date coming through. Eighteen oh three, eighteen oh eight. All right, I'm dry and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so we cleaned that coin up the best we could, the field. And that's going to be an 1803 cap bust. Back's nice shape. I love that green. I'll never take that off any coin. This is awesome. Cool, cool. Show you what I get in the wrap up. What's up, guys? Still working the same little hill. Just got a nice signal. There's a. And then we pop the pewter button. Just tells you how old this site is. Broken. Don't see anything on it. Man, these bugs are outrageous. Smoked a half a pack of cigarettes in two hours. No, no, no. All right, back at you. Oh, hey guys, this is the end of the hunt. This is uh. One of the front solo holes I've been hunting. Granted, really haven't picked anything out of here. A couple of buttons on the face. But everything's been down back in the fields. Well, I ended up with uh, some kettle. You know, it just dates how old that piece of property is. You can get the handle hole. Got ourselves a oxen shoe. Some scrap brass. Some shotgun paraphernalia. A 45. And get on to the cool finds. 1804 half cent. 1803 large cent. Big flat button, a little pewter button. And this right here, I mean, could be a token, but after finding that pewter button, that's what it could be too.
Oh, shankless. Yeah, this right here, I mean, I found a few, but nothing. I mean, the soil out there is just awesome for these coins. If I can get it to focus here for you. There you go. Reverse is awesome. Who knows? They might have been lost together. But that's why I like this hobby. You know, it's just these things are two hundred plus years old, and who knows who dropped them? I mean, somebody could have been coming over from the bay. Who knows? All right. You guys have a good night and get back at you.